Welcome to this Fusion video tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to be discussing defining named views and just showing you some areas where named views can be useful. Named views can be defined in plans, elevations, and perspectives. It's defined the same way in each view. Uh, if we take a look on our left hand panel, with the ob selected, we just uh, will have the named view option available. Currently, it's undefined. If we select the pull down menu there's already two predefined named views and a plan and plan these are by default and will appear in every single design uh, in the plan view if we have a very large plan and we have it set to a particular scale let's say for instance we have the scale 1 is to 20 you can see the view now becomes smaller and what will happen is if I go to name view and define this I can give this a scale 1 to 20 plan and by defining this it will now save at that 1 is to 20 in elevation view it would work the same way here we have a wall selected we'll have a predefined elevation I'm just going to define two elevation views elevation A and I'm going to select the second wall and I'm going to just click on define it gives me two options here now I can redefine a name view particular one elevation A or I can define a new one by selecting new I can just rename this to elevation B and select OK now if I pull down and select elevation A I can change to selected view and it will jump to elevation A same would work in our perspective view We'll just give it time for the render to take place. When we have our views in perspective, it works the exact same way. We just select the named views and we click on define. And we can click perspective 1. And if I just change my view up a bit, let's just take a look at this corner here. I can pull down define and we'll redefine perspective 2, which was a ready saved name view and click OK. Where name views can become beneficial, uh, possibly we might have a scenario where we would like to do a presentation on a large screen for a client, but we don't want the entire interface of Fusion showing. If I right click on my screen and go to full screen option, we see it jumps through to the full screen. And over here, we have the named views options, and those this will display all the named views that I've saved. So we can go plan scale 1 is to 20 and it will jump to that scale view on our screen. We can jump to our elevation A and so forth. What you'll notice, especially with the perspective views, it will bring up the render setting that we defined of the name view, which I saved as a real-time draft. In this setting, I can actually, in full screen mode, right click go to my render settings and I can redefine the render and by doing this um, this can also help save time in saving images we define a number of views I'm going to set this back to real-time draft we can right click and then save the screen as we do in a normal perspective and that will allow us to do multiple views quite quickly So we can change to perspective 2 and we could right click and save screen again. Let's just close this view. Thank you for watching this video tutorial.